we to discuss about how to compress files using java programming language so this is here i am using go intellij idea and this is the code to do the compression of the file so there we need to two important package first is io so when i comment on the io package here you can see there is the problem with the file input streams so if you are using file input streams you need to give your io package the next package that's using zip dot because here deflect output that's depend upon this package okay and file input stream is used to here take the input so this is now file input is the stream is the class this is the object new file input stream here you need to give the source file file input output stream is used to create the files or give the result of the files so this you need to give here or new files that you want to create deflector output stream is used to compress the files here you can see the or uh, differencing using used to compressing the data and here you can see in data data equal to f read so here when this read all and there is no any data so that finally display if the, there is no any data then the value become minus 1 so minus 1 is not equal to minus 1 condition is false then that do the closing of the file input stream object and or uh, ds so ds is now or deflate deflate output stream class object so we need to provide here or uh, the correct uh, uh, path if i give here if i run this code definitely the file i didn't provide it so this will generate the exception here the exception file not found so now i'm going to show the file that i'm going to do the compress so here r1 r2 so let's see here r2 and check the properties so 170 mb is the file size this is the extension is now avi file copying the location and pasting inside there then after here you need to give r2 dot avi okay and the file that you want to create so let's paste same location i'm creating files so this is here giving the file zan okay so here you need to give the file name so let's uh, give you a mp4 so input is now this is so uh, or uh, avi and want to create the mp4 so this terms now i'm going to run this so here you can see this terms there should be no okay no any message so it's so displaying so here you can see zen file it's created and uh, here you can see this is now uh, r2 okay the size is created only or uh, 0 kb so file is created okay what we need to do so here let's give a uh, avi same uh, extension one i give okay so now let's so uh, run this again as stop and run so here you can see zenven that's also created but uh, now you can see after uh, creating the new files here and after okay i i just got the problems now i'm going to uh, stop this one a uh, stop that code has been done now you can see the file size is so uh, or uh, this one is now of this so uh, or uh, property 117 mb and uh, now zen and z1 so both i created from the r2 let's see the properties here you can see after compressing the file is now here or uh, of r2 and newly created file 541 mb is there 
okay so this is the benefit of this one so here this is now this one also compressed to 195 kV so what happen if your program is so running continuously then that file that created but the problem is that was zero so you need to do one thing stop the file then the file is created here like to like uh, if you want to create or uh, uh, compress your employees has the 9 kV so let's give here this times employees and the extension is now dot csv is there so giving employees and you need to give the extension csv and uh, the csv there after here creating go uh, here the file giving the uh, name is now this times asus asus and you need to give the extension given txt now if i run this so run this here you can see somewhere asus file created so this is employees is now 9 kb after doing compression here you can see 4 kb is the size is now so this is the simplest way we can create the files sorry we can create the files uh, create compressed files or uh, by, uh, by the help of this code okay so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you